Hi everyone and welcome back. You know at the end of the book of Joshua chapter 24 on his deathbed Joshua confronted the people of Israel by saying choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell but as for me and my house he said we will serve the Lord. You know life is constructed by the choices that we make. Every single day we have to make choices, we have to make decisions and sometimes these are not easy to make. Some of them are small, some of them are major, but all of these decisions, all of these choices, one thing is for certain, they, what we decide today will determine our tomorrow. Our choices are very, very important and we can't escape this aspect of our Christian life. So it's important that we make the right choices. It's important that we make godly choices. Choices that will put your life and my life in the right place so that we're able to serve the Lord in the way He has determined. I believe our choices can be influenced either by the Spirit of God or the Spirit of this world. And when we look to the Spirit of this world, we see man's ideas, man's opinions, we see the, the tides of society, all of the things that are taking place, the movement of the day, what seems right, what seems wrong. And it's so easy to be influenced by the press, the media, social media. But you and I as born again believers, we're not to look at the things of this world. We're not to look at the spirit of this world, but we're to look to the spirit of God. You know, Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12 and he says now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit who is from God that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God isn't that wonderful he says in Romans chapter 8 verse 5 to set your mind on the things of the spirit not the things of the flesh but the things of the spirit so God's spirit within you knows all things God's Spirit within you knows the future, knows what lies beyond, what we can see, what we can understand. And we need to learn on a daily basis to look to the Spirit within us and to allow the Spirit of God to lead us and direct us in all our choices. Paul says in Colossians 3.15 that let the peace of God rule your hearts. And one thing I've discovered is that when I allow the Holy Spirit to lead me, He leads me in peace. Not confusion, not doubt, not turmoil, but in His peace. So I want to encourage you today, be led by the Spirit. Make the right choices, godly choices. God bless you.